If there are any fighters seated here that have not gone over to see the commission, please do. Get your yeah, he's good. Yeah, let him in. What's up, my man? How you doing? Yeah, that was good. Huh? Yeah, it looked good. <laughs> Tito Ortiz is going to find out what Ken Shamrock is all about. I guarantee you that. So if I was you, I hope to God you come ready. Because if you don't, I am going to beat you into living death. I might have overreacted by laughing hard enough, but that's all I can do. It was either I was going to get up and punch him in his face, or I was going to laugh about it. And I'm the bigger man, and I'll laugh about it. You think this is all fun and games, but when the gate shuts and the bell rings, you're going to find out it's not fun and games. And he said, yeah, I'm going to make you my bitch, you punk kid. And I got up and I go, listen, man, I grew up a long time ago. I'm a man now. You talk to me like a man. And uh, he flipped out, like Ken Shamrock always does. He can't handle pressure. This ain't the WWF, boy. Oh, yeah, stand up. See if I don't beat the hell out of you. I did my little speech or whatever, I had a little flower and I told after I beat you down, Ken, I'm going to bury a grave for you and I'm gonna, here's a flower to put on your face. And uh, he really flipped out. Someone's going to get really hurt, that's for sure. Uh, I get to go back in my room later on tonight and watch some more of Ken's tapes. Get ready to bang tomorrow. This is what I wait all my life for. Mentally I'm ready, physically I'm ready. Now it's just time for me to go out there and perform. 201. Ken Shamrock weighs in at 201 pounds. Perfect. What anyway? 201. 201. Too small. Ah. Don't worry about it. Just run him over. Scrub it now. Fuck it. Scrub it now. Look at him. Let the beating begin. <laughs> 205. Tito Ortiz weighs in at 205 pounds. We have a championship bout. and all that don't really go to my mind. It's like, I'm a normal person. And I thought I'd be a lot more intimidated. Uh-huh. And it's not at all. It's nothing what I expected. To me, I mean, shit, that's still Ken Shamrock. But now it's just like you're another human person, man. And you're at my weight now. One of the reasons I do hate him just because of his arrogance. Uh, of course, it started back when I fought uh, Guy Metzger and I beat down Guy Metzger and I turned around and flipped off the corner and I was strictly towards the Guy Metzger. I thought you had more respect than And Ken Shamrock got in my face, thought he'd point in my face and treat me like a little kid, which I ain't no little kid, I'm a man. I'm willing to step up and uh, I went to Zufa and asked to fight Ken Shamrock. They made the fight happen. Ken Shamrock, of course, the man that he is, he took the fight and uh, it's a mistake on his part. All right, the little 200 pounder, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna make you like a quarter pounder. Well, it looks like someone will be going to the hospital then. That's all right. We'll be here. I'm willing to get injured, man. I'm down for it. I hope you are. So that's the same mistake Jerry Bolander man. He said, I have no weapons. And uh, he was a little kid, and I was a little kid. Now that I am a man, it's time to take out an old man, put you in retirement. It's going to be a good highlight. <laughs> right on, Chris. Thanks for having me on the show, Chris. You hope you guys enjoy the show tomorrow. Don't blink, because the shit may be over quick. Of course, I just came off of surgery seven months ago. My knee's 100%. I'm at ACL reconstructive surgery. So in his mind, he thinks that that's going to hinder me some type, and it's not going to. I know what it feels like to be completely gassed out, tired, and still fight from there. Be on my back and people are in shots on me and fight from there. Be in a submission and fight from there. 
and Ken Shamrock, I don't think he's never been put in that position. Um, I'm not really a person to get predictions, though. Um, but I see in the third round, third or fourth round, you can see how powerful and how strong Tito Ortiz can be. And I don't know, maybe quicker. Um, we're going to see what happens. Prediction's pain. <laughs> Prediction is pain, that's for sure. <laughs> Good deal. Thanks. Good deal. Right, thank you much. Thank you. Right on. I was gonna say shit your pants, but you can't say shit on TV. You said it, dude. You said you shit. You did say shit. Did I say shit? Yes, yeah, you, you said, said shit. shit on your pants. <laughs> yep. I thought I said poop. <laughs> you said poop too one time. Yeah. You took another one. Take care, thanks a security though when I go out to the arena? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, we'll work that out for you. All right, cool. He's 39 years old and he has nothing to show for it and uh, I'm willing to take him out just because I'm sick of going to other events and clubs or whatever. People going, hey, is that Ken Shamrock guy still beating up people in the Ultimate Fighting Championship? And it really gets to me because I work really hard to get right now. I mean, I've been undefeated for the last three years in Ultimate Fighting Championship and I've been dominating the guys. And if he thinks he could just walk in, walk to my weight and think he's going to take the belt from me. That's another thing coming, that's for sure, because I am the light heavyweight champion and I'm going to stay the light heavyweight champion for a long time. It's an honor to be here, you know, to be still in a main event, still being um, fan favorite. I, you know, it's just, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling, man. And uh, there's, when, when things are over and I'm sitting back looking and watching these other guys come up, these are the feelings I'm going to miss. These are the times I'm going to miss, all the excitement, the pump before the fight. That's going to be hard to replace. A month ago, he was fired up and ready to go, and now he's saying, let's just get this over with. It's been hell. We've been, he's been doing a lot of boxing, a lot of kickboxing, a lot of wrestling, a lot of jiu-jitsu. We've been mixing it up and doing two days with that, uh, working on his conditioning and just sprint, sprint conditioning, sprint conditioning, sprint conditioning. I think Tito's going to be uh, in shock that if this does go into later rounds, Ken's not going to fade at all. Well, the talk's over, man. There's not much to say except getting in the ring and let's get it on. I'm pumped. Uh, I'm tired of waiting. I want to get in there, close the gates, ring the bell, and let's get it on. Let's just do it. Forget all this other stuff that's going on. It was good all the way up to this point. Now I'm tired. I want in the ring. I want to get it on. I feel like I'm at when, uh, when one of our guys is fighting, the nerves are just, it's crazy. It's like family. And because you know, once the door shuts and, and the fight starts, there's nothing else you can do. It's, it's, all, it's all about the guys after that. So I'm going to be a spectator now. We're going to sit there and watch him go at it. And uh, we are extremely excited about this fight. We're all together, man. When someone says we got to fight, we come together and you know, we, we get it on. We, we make sure that each other, we get each other in shape and we have enough people. I've got guys ever since the very first UFC that are still with me. We're a pretty strong bond. Tito's a man, he's got the big aura right now and all their confidence and you're going to have to deal with that. So it's going to be tough. 
But as the fight goes on, Tito's going to wear him down. And if Ken isn't in shape, Tito's just going to be the young lion. He's just going to dominate him. My pick is Tito. Tito by stoppage. Tito. Probably fourth round. All right, if it goes Third or fourth long. round. I think, uh, you know what? I think Tito Ortiz trains with the best guys in the world. Tito Ortiz is training with uh, Mark Lehman doing jiu-jitsu. He's training with leg locks with Scott Adams. He's got top food, you know, top of the food chain. Muay Thai guys training with him. He's got guys pushing him constantly, constantly. You know, I think Ken, Ken is an incredible tough guy, a veteran, you know, a pioneer of the sport, but I think he trains with the Lions Den guys, and I think ultimately he d dictates the pace, he dictates what he does, and I think you really can't do that. You really can't train yourself. The knee will be a factor because a lot of times when you injure it, you tend to baby it. Tito says it's beyond 100%, and a lot of times when you have that surgery, it can make a knee stronger. Uh, especially with knee surgery that's already went by seven months ago. I thought I, I didn't think I was going to be ready, but uh, I'm ready now. I mean, it amazed me in the last three weeks, my recovery was just 100%. Uh, I've been training really, really hard. I've been running three miles a day. It hasn't had a problem, it, no effect at all, no soreness, nothing. And it's uh, amazing. I'm a freak, I guess. I was born to fight. You know, it's uh, my center of gravity is a little bit lighter. My strengths, I still, I'm still strong, um, but uh, I'm going to be able to be moved around a little bit more, but uh, I'll deal with that when the time comes. I believe this is going to be one of my toughest fights I've ever had. Can be a bigger man, a stronger man. I'm going to have to weather a storm the first round. I'm going to have to prove the champion I really am, and I'm willing to take a beating. I mean, at the same time, I hope Ken's ready to take a beating because I'm going to give one. Strength-wise, the edge is definitely going to Ken. I mean, I've trained with a lot of heavyweights. There is no heavyweight any stronger than Ken Shamrock, and that's when he's at 201 pounds. I remember back when where, where people didn't like all the showmanship before the fight. And I always was a fan of that. And I thought, you know, that's how you get the fights pumped up. And uh, I remember a lot of people were like, oh, it's too WWS. -ish. And it's like, you know what? People want to be entertained. They want to see a great fight, but they also want to be entertained before the fight. So you come out in robes or whatever, or whatever you're going to do, you, you entertain them. You entertain yourself coming to the ring if that's the way I get pumped up. So I want everybody else to get pumped up with me. Whether it's with me or against me, either way, I want to get pumped up, and I'm going to get, when I'm coming out, you'll see my energy, and the people will feel my energy, and uh, that's how I fight. And uh, so when I come out, people will either get with me or against me, but they'll do something. It just, I don't know what if it stems back when I was a kid, because every time I step out and I hear the people screaming, it's just like that attention, and it's just like emotional. Tears just come for no reason, man. Just like, oh my God, let's do this. I mean, I'm an emotional fighter. I'm a really emotional fighter. I love big crowds and 
deck just it motivates me even more. Our 14,000 people screaming my name, chanting my name. That's your adrenaline rush that gets me going. Um, I've always wanted to be a WWF wrestler, but a fighter seems a lot more real. And having those fans behind me, it just seems like a dream.